hey guys welcome back to my channel this is the third video in our series where we are learning how to use a unmanaged VPS to create uh, websites in Windows Server so in first video we saw how to purchase a VPS second video we saw how to install IIS manager and in the third video we will see how we can purchase a domain name and we can point that domain name to the website which we have created in uh, VPS so in case you are wondering which VPS provider I am using so I am using PyVPS and in order to go to the website you can click a new tab and type uh, techieblogging.com uh, slash PyVPS so I will give the link in the description as well you can uh, go to this uh, page so basically PyVPS is only specialized in provide uh, Windows and Linux VPS so they have uh, powerful plans so based on your requirement you can uh, take any one of them including 2012 and 2016 they are also supporting 2019 server as well. let's start so first of all you need a domain name in order to proceed further so I recommend uh, Namecheap, but it doesn't have to be Namecheap. It you can buy it from any domain provider, and the process will remain the same. So, but uh, I usually use Namecheap. So for Namecheap also, I will give the link in the description. So the both link that I will give it, it's basically affiliate link. So if you purchase using those links, then I will get a commission. Now in previous video, we created a default website, and uh, this is how the default website looks like with the IP address. Now we will purchase the domain name first. So I already have a domain name here, TV shows info.xyz. So it is not being used for any other purpose. So I, I will use it uh, for this demo. But before that, go to your VPS and uh, click on server manager. From server manager at the top, click on uh, tools and then click on uh, IIS manager let me maximize this IIS um, dashboard now at the left just click on this uh, Windows server name that you are seeing here so it will take you to the page where most of the things will be done to create the websites now click on this uh, greater than symbols and it will show you the sites here so we have only one site that is the default uh, website so what we will do here we will disable this uh, site you know right hand side you will see an option called stop and now let's create a new website in a new part so click on this site and uh, you will have to click right click and then click on add website site name give whatever you want based on your uh, convenient i will give with uh, the domain name what I'm going to use so that is TV shows info and the physical path you'll have to click on browse and here make sure you will click on the C drive now click on init pub so basically this init pub will be created when you are installing the IIS server so inside init.pub you will have to go to ww root here and uh, here you'll have to click on make new folder and give the site name here so i will give uh, tv shows info and uh, once you clear the folder just select it and click ok so what it means is that all the necessary files for your website will remain in this path now under this section you can see binding type so keep it as http so https protocols is also there so that we will do in the coming section how to install free ssl certificate so that brings me to a point that don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload that video you will get a notification now select the HTTP then under IP address click on drop down and just click on uh, this IP address that you can see here so this is the IP address of your server now port let it be 
AT only because that is the port for HTTP protocol. Now under host name, just uh, type the host name that you have purchased it from uh, your uh, name cheap domain name. So in this case, I have TV shows in 4.xyz. So I will copy that and I will paste it here and make sure there is no space or anything and then click on OK. Inside this, there is no files and folder. So what you will have to do is the right click on the site and uh, click on explore. So this explore will basically will take to the path and uh, here you will have to put all your website files. So there is nothing. So let me just create a new index.html file. So I will open notepad and uh, I will just uh, type a simple website. So I will just uh, type the text here. But in your scenario, it may be a little bit different. So let me just uh, save it. So click on file, save as. I will save as type. I will put all and then I will type the name here index.html. Click on save and we have the file here. Just refresh it and we should be able to see. So it's uh, done. And uh, here you will be able to see the browse TV shows in 4.xyz. Now we'll have to add a, another binding here for uh, www. So what I will do here, I will click on add here and uh, here I will select HTTP again the same IP address but port remains 80 and now here I will do www. TV shows info. Dot x y z and click on ok so it's basically when user will try to access it your website will be available with www dot and even it will be available with non www domain name now just click on it so i believe for this part it is already done but before going that now go to your domain provider console so you will see if you are following Namecheap then you will see domain list and all the domains will be available here. Just click on manage for the domain which you want to point to the Windows server and uh, go to advanced DNS. Go a little bit down and you will find a section called uh, add new records. So click on that. Click on A records under host just mention uh, at the rate and uh, the IP address should be here of your VPS now I will just type it uh, and uh, once you do that click on this tick button and if everything is fine the record will be created successfully now after doing that go back to your VPS server and uh, restart the website now if you want you can just stop it and then you, you can start it again so that is also fine now you will have to wait for some time because uh, we have created the dns uh, a record just now and it will always take some time to reflect it but uh, let me try anyhow so what i will do i will copy this i will go to a new tab which is uh, incognito tab and I will paste the domain name. So as you can see here, it is not uh, visible till now because it will always take some uh, time. So I will pause this video for some time and I will come back when uh, the resolution happens. So usually it may take around you know, five to 10 minutes, something sometimes if you search Google and all, it will say 48 hours, but uh, that's not the case. Most of the time, within 15 to 20 minutes only, we should be able to see the resolution here. Yes, so it's working now, but uh, I had to do another steps here. So what I had to do is that I went to the domain provider and I had uh, add another A record. So the record was uh, a record but under host I mentioned www 
and value of the IP was the same and TTL value I changed it to one minute and then I went to VPS and uh, restarted the website and after that I was able to access uh, the website so here you can see only hello so that's uh, the basic uh, demo of how to create a website in VPS and point a domain name now in the next video we will see how we can install SSL we will use free SSL certificate from let's encrypt and then we will see how we can install that particular SSL in the VPS so that's all for this video thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification about next video